Hey, it's your guy Nathan back again with another video tutorial. This is going to be part two of the awesome three part trilogy beginner's guide on how to model in Rhino 3D. So let's get right into her. I mean, into it. I'm going to teach you a whole lot of tools that you're going to need to learn how to use. Um, these are for me the basics and the most common ones that I use. Okay, so. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to draw lines. And there's two types of lines. There's a there's this type of line where you just draw and you left click here and you right click there and then you have a straight line. Big deal, right? Easy. Um the other type of line here is your control point line and basically you it's used to create a curvy line and you're just going to click how you want your curve to go so you have that type of line and then under that type of line you have a pop-out box here with more line tools and the one I use the most is this tool called the interpolate points and all it is is pretty much like the first one you click and then you can actually if you select the line, you turn on control points, okay? And control points is either F10 or F11 on your keyboard. That's how you turn it on or off. So I'm gonna turn this on, and you can see by default it has four control points. And you could select, if you drag your box like that, holding down the left mouse button, you can select your two control points. If you hold shift, that will uh, constrain it 90 degrees and you can pull it down and up um, you could just select one and put it down that way and that's the one that I use the most to draw my curvy curvy lines alright so that's the basic for lines um, I'm gonna show you some tools we can use let's use a it's called a fillet tool this is this tool is used to create a radius on a corner so if I draw, let me take these out here. We'll use this as an example. We're gonna turn on our OSINAP. We learned this last episode. We're gonna attach it to the end because our end tool is on. We're gonna create this corner. And then with this corner, we can try our fillet tool. So what we're gonna do is type in fillet, F-I-L-L-E-T. If you don't wanna do it that way, you can select it. Uh, you can find it here, the fillet curves tool icon. But I like typing because it's just faster. And I also have hotkeys, so that makes it a lot faster. But I'll type it in the command bar for now. So we're going to use our fillet tool. And it's going to ask us which two lines we want to use, okay? So we're going to select one line with our left mouse button. We're going to select the second one, okay? But before we do both of those, we, up here we can change our parameters of our fillet so if we want a radius of 0.1 inch we can do that if we want 0.5 if we want it five inches you can change that there and that's how you change your fillet parameter so we're just going to do 0.1 and we're going to click both let me redo that we're going to click both one left click both lines and if you zoom in there you can see it let me make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see. So I'm gonna undo that, fill it. Fill it. We're gonna change it to one inch. Select one, two, and that's it. That's our fillet tool. Next is our mirror tool. And our mirror tool is basically if we, when we're gonna mirror our object or a line across a center point. So uh, let's just do it. So select your objects or your lines and then type in mirror. You're going to select your center point wherever you want it to mirror from. You could do it out here. You could pretty much do it anywhere, but we're just going to do it at the end of this line. We're going to select, we're going to click left click the mouse button. We're going to hold shift so that it constrains it to 90 degrees. And we're going to click the left mouse button again. And then there we have our mirror. You can do this with lines. You can do this with actual objects. And I'll show you an object right now. 
Okay, so that's our object right there. You can see it in perspective view. We can mirror it. Now you have two objects. Ain't that amazing? Uh, the next, the next uh, tool I'm gonna teach you is extrude, and extrude is just basically taking a curve and extruding it, um, and it'll become a surface. So if we type in our extrude curve uh, tool, it'll ask us select curves to extrude. We're gonna select this one. We're gonna hit enter. It says press enter, which is our right mouse button. And then you can see it from our perspective view, how far it wants to extrude, how far do we need it. If we wanted to, we could type in a dimension here. If we wanted to go 10 inches, we can type in 10, and it'll be 10, okay? The next tool is project, which is an awesome, awesome tool. So we're gonna use project on our front viewport here. Oh, um, so if we have our surface here, uh, if you can see, let me change it to shaded. We can draw a curve, right? Let's turn off our modeling aid so it doesn't attach to it. So we have this line that by default goes to the C plane. If you look at this top view here, by default, it goes where this red line is. That's a C plane. So anytime you're just drawing, it'll just attach to the C plane. Okay. Um, let me redo this here. So going back to our front view, we can take this line and we can project it. And if we select our surface that's in back of it or front of it, which is this surface, it will project that line onto the surface. How amazing, huh? Next tool, we will learn Rotate, mm -mm. rotate. All right, so from the top view here, we're gonna rotate the surface. Rotate tool is uh, this one. We're gonna select our end, the center point of where we want to rotate it. So it's, it's gonna be at that end. We're gonna left click again, and now we can rotate our tool. And again, if you hold shift, it will constrain it to 90 degrees any way that you want. Let's see here, explode. Explode is when you want to separate um, a curve or an object. And I'll just show you what that is rather than try to explain it. So we're gonna explode this box here. See how I click on it and the whole entire thing turns is highlighted. If we click it and we explode it with this icon, it was, separate each face of that rectangle. We can also click all those faces and we can join them. And now when you select it, all of it is highlighted. Let's do some splitting, okay? We're gonna split an object and we're going to split a curve. So with this curve that we selected here, uh, we're going. I'm gonna type in split and up here by the command bar is going to allow us to select a point on the curve. And with that, we can actually select any point on this curve. If you look at the perspective view, you can see how I can absolutely select any point on this curve. And if I left click right, and then right click to indicate I'm done, that point has been, has split the curve of that, has split that blah. Okay, now we're going to split an object. In order to split this object, we're going to draw a line. Now I could teach you how to do this the easier way, but I'm gonna teach you how to do this the harder way. Okay, so if we have this line here, we're going to use our tool that we learned, extrude. We're gonna extrude a surface that cuts through our object, right? So, um, and up here, we're going to change uh, the parameters to extrude both sides instead of just from one side. So we're going to extrude it. And as you can see, the, the, the surface actually goes right through the entire square object. Now we're going to 
select our split tool we're going to select our object left click and then when we're done selecting our object we're going to right click and then it's going to ask us select cutting objects and our cutting objects is that line that we just extruded so it's going to be this surface we select it right click to sh uh, show that we're done and now it has split that object into two beautiful parts okay and that's how to use your split tool there's also a trim tool if I just draw a bunch of lines here I'll let's see okay so never mind this line never mind that okay from our top view if we're looking at these three lines we can use our trim tool which is this one let's see this one right here on the sidebar and we're just going to select each segment that we want to get rid of so we're going to get rid of that one and we want to get rid of this one bam that's your trim tool awesome and then the last and then the last thing I'm going to show you is control points and I explained it earlier but I'm going to show you again so if you have a line here you can turn on control points with F10 or F11 and you turn it off okay and these are my control points and I can drag I can still change the curve after I was done drawing it so that's it for now part two part three is going to be more fun because we're going to start drawing actual objects and try attempt to draw a car so stay tuned and keep learning and get your weight up